We're almost done getting our first two game objects on the screen, but we need to make a shift in the way the draw model call works, and it's a bit of a big change, not only because our model exists inside of a game object, but because we'll be adding rotation and scale to our world transformation matrix that's part of the drawing method. Get right to it. Use the method selector to jump to your draw model method. And the first things to do are change its name and argument list. So instead of void draw model 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 vector3 model position, change it to void draw game object game object lowercase game object. Now there's just one argument to this method and it's a game object. So it makes sense to change its name to draw game object instead of draw model. Next, you'll need to change the first for each loop from for each model mesh mesh in model meshes to read for each model mesh mesh in game object dot model dot meshes, since the model now exists inside the game object argument. Finally, we need to beef up our world transform matrix a bit. This is going to be a few more lines of code, and we're going to add it all at once and then I'll explain. Head down to where you have effect.world equals matrix create translation and change it to be this. Effect.world equals matrix.create from yaw pitch roll game object dot rotation dot y comma Game object dot rotation dot x comma game object dot rotation dot z multiplied by matrix dot create scale game object dot scale multiplied by matrix dot create translation game object dot position What we've just done here is performed matrix concatenation, created three different matrices, one for rotation, one for scale, and one for translation, and then multiplied them all together, or concatenated them, into one large world transformation matrix. Let's look at the matrices. The first is the rotation matrix. We use the helper method create from yaw pitch roll and pass in the rotation vector three components not in x, y, z order, you'll notice. Remember that I had said the components don't mean exactly the same as position components do. In the next chapter, when we create the launcher head and begin to swivel it with the controller, there'll be some details that explains this process. For now, just know that the first matrix is for rotation. Then, we multiply that with the scale matrix, again, created with a helper method. This method takes a single floating point value and creates a uniform scaling matrix. Then, that's multiplied with the translation matrix, which is what we're using before. So we rotate, scale, and translate in that order. Order is very important when concatenating matrices. A world transform must be done in this order. The detail text for this step explains the concatenation of this new world transform matrix in more depth. If you'd like to understand more about how and why these matrices are combined the way they are, click More Details for this step. The view and projection matrices don't change. Okay, we're set for the draw game object method. The last thing to do is modify the draw method. Find the draw method. Find draw model terrain model terrain position and get rid of it. Put these two lines in its place. Draw game object. Terrain. Draw game object. Missile launcher base. You can see how valuable draw game object is going to be. Just one line for every object we want to draw. It's time to give it a try. Go ahead and build and run by clicking the right pointing green arrow or pressing F5. Xbox users, make sure you're at the Connect to Computer screen in the XNA Game Studio Connect application. Good. 
you see the terrain and the launcher base. Not much action yet, but you're building the foundation that'll make it easy to add new game objects so you can focus on the interesting stuff. In the next chapter, we're going to add the missile launcher head and control it with the Xbox 360 controller or keyboard. Now, if you need to catch up to where we are right now, you can just click Download Source Code at the bottom of this chapter page to unpack a version of the project that has all the source code and assets for this chapter, and by opening that project, you'll be caught up. If you'd like to learn more about the World Transformation Matrix and how to build it, click More Details for this step. Otherwise, if you're ready to move on, click the next chapter.